Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Perfidious P Plays the XCOM The Long War. Last mission, we had a team of all rookies. Didn't go so well. We did have a casualty, but uh, given the quality of troops we took on the mission, it wasn't the most shameful uh, performance of all time. We did have a couple of those rookies who got promoted, so as is our custom, of course, promoted soldiers get names, so let's go take a look at them and see who we've got. All right. Owen Jones was one of our members that got promoted. And Owen Jones looks a little like Justin Timberlake to me. I think a little bit. He, he looks like one of the, what was Justin, a Backstreet Boy, or was he an NSYNC? I don't remember. Whichever one, they both sucked. But let's go ahead and, yeah, I think we've got a Timberlake on our hands. He's also a shitty actor, so, I mean, you can pile that onto the, the fact that he's... Justin Timberlake. In his defense, he has quietly banged some of the hottest some of the hottest chicks in Hollywood though, so he's got that going for him. Apparently the non-threatening kind of soft voiced, meek little I'm sort of a douche but not quite thing really turns it on with the ladies for old Justin. And we got Arpit Shah, who's a rocketeer. Um, he's our only rocketeer and may actually be the only rocketeer we ever get. And to me it looks a Little like Tiger Woods with a goatee. I guess he's trying to harden up his image, so. Yeah, look, Tiger Woods is good. He may not be able to hit an alien, but if you're an attractive lady over the age of 30, by God, he'll hit you. Yeah, I make fun because he fucked a lot of women. While he was married. Alright, Tiger Woods, part of the team. Welcome aboard, Tiger. No green jacket for killing aliens. And who do we have here? Samuel Kennedy. Looks... It kind of looks like Justin Bieber a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think we're... Yeah, his, we're going to change his hair a little bit. We darken up his hair color just a titch. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of an older... I've done a lot of drugs and ate too much rich food. Sort of looking... Kind of um, a little addled from... Yeah, it's Justin Bieber. We're going to go with it. And with both Bieber and Timberlake on the team, we have a chance where we could feel the ultimate boy band sort of young male rock duo. It could be Justin and Justin. I, I, I think the magnitude of those two compared, that, that just a sheer monumental amount of suck might collapse into a black hole yeah, the, yeah but you know worst case scenario we'll throw that at the aliens by god we're coming out we'll we'll just give you the most abysmal thing you can think of justin timberlake and justin bieber in a dual build show i'll do it don't force me to do it you alien bastards I, but i will i'm crazy man i'll and we'll have mel gibson running the show all right so everybody's named up timberlake and bieber together at last Let's see if we can get these bitches a mission then. Our sawed off shotguns, I noticed, still not finished. Oh, no, okay. So the game decides to, once again, make an asshole out of me. I would like to point out, Dr. Shin, though, that it did take you several days to hack the barrels off of 10 shotguns. Not only that, you have what, like 20, 15, 20 engineers? So it, it took 15 engineers, okay. It took a team of 15 guys several days to saw the barrels off of shotgun. This is the quality of engineers I'm working with, folks. Humanity is fucking doomed. Some folks coming back. So let's take a look at that excavation and see what got dug up. Um, yeah, nothing important. Back to mission control then, let's scan again. And I think that was our thermal generator. Was our steam vent. Yeah. Our steam vent got finished. We can't afford to build it yet. I believe it's 350 for a thermal generator. Yeah, 350. So we don't have quite enough money, but maybe we can get a mission. And with the salvage or whatnot we get from the mission, perhaps we'll have enough cash that we can... 
build that thermal generator. They're, the thermal generators are real handy. They do save you quite a bit of construction time. Instead of building three buildings, you just have to build one. And I think it might be a cost savings as well for the cost to power ratio. All right, so let's go back and start scanning. Also, alien weaponry will finish soon. Be our first bit of research. Excellent. All right, let's assign... Oh, the scope is available. Scopes are very handy. We're going to need to build some of those fairly quickly. Plus 10 aim item for your troops. Very good. And you can use it in conjunction with the laser sight in a long war mod for a total of plus 15 aim. Uh, beam lasers. We, we definitely want beam lasers. Having a hard time grasping what oh, Dr. Valen. To accomplish here. Oh, they really? You you haven't grasped the fact that they're here and killing a lot of people? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. They like to fuck humans in the butt? That's kind of the MO that television movies and drunken rednecks would have you believe is that the uh, aliens are and anal. I don't know if you have to be overly picky when selecting your targets for that. If you're just going to probe them into pooper, I, I think pretty much anyone will do. Anyway, Dr. Vale, go, go, go look on the lasers. All right, we have a small UFO. Send up... You know what? We're going to send up our talented pilot. Let's just hope he, he can get it down. We don't have to send multiple guys. We're trying to keep as many of our interceptors out of the shop as possible. Pursuit. Closing on target. Okay, traded hits. That's actually not. Oh, we got a cash bounty. All right. Light damage on the interceptor and a cash bounty. Let's see if that it did give us enough to build the generator. So let's get it started. Build thermo generator. Again, construction boys. I'm curious how Dr. Shen and his boys are going to build a thermal generator harnessing geothermal power to run our base when they can't even saw the barrels off of shotguns. That's, that's interesting. Probably go down there and it'll just be like a bucket upside down dripping hot water. Back to scanning. Oh, heavy. Oh, we got a deduction mission. All right. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are Aliens have been active in Mexico a lot lately. I believe a couple missions ago we were in Mexico as well. But we got a abduction mission in Alcapoco. Oh, man, aliens are going to be down there. They're going to have been drinking. Things are going to get a little rowdy. I bet the aliens are going to be wild, riled up. So that's not necessarily a good thing. Drunken aliens probably, you know, significantly worse than sober aliens. Then again, maybe they'll just... Drop grenades at their feet or something. Let's hope they got them really drunk. If we're going down to a party town, we need a party cat leading our team. Who likes to party, gentlemen? Mm, Kanye likes to party, but he's a little too weary. Nah, I, I think it's Mel Gibson. Sniper Mel Gibson likes to party. So, yep, we're going to take Mel. Who's going to go with him? Take a medic. That means Doc Chris Brown here. He's going to go down. Based on what he's done to his uh, companions so when he is sober, I'd, I'd hate to see what he's done after he has a few drinks in him. And we do want one more, at least one more experienced trooper. We have an infantryman. Uh, we only have one infantry soldier. That's something we need to work on. We need some more infantrymen. They're really important. They're one of the better, one of the better classes, one of my favorite. Um, let's take Jaden Smith. Yeah, Jaden will do. We are going to change his loadout a little bit. His aim is mediocre, but as a scout, he's going to be up close, so we're going to go ahead and give him a shotgun. Saw it off for a backup. We're going to get rid of that HE grenade and make it an AP grenade instead. Uh, Doc Brown's loadout and Gibson, actually, they're good. And then for the rest of the team... Um, since we don't have any infantry guys, or we only have one infantry guy, we definitely need to get some more. Let's try and see if we can get a couple of these, if we have any promising looking rookies, try and get them promoted. We just got a new crop of 10 soldiers. Oh, we have a couple promising candidates. This guy, 4 health, decent defense, 9. Uh, his move is not the greatest, but he has a really good aim, 75. Sam Jones, is. you're going on the mission, son. Get Sam, get it out. Assault rifle's good. 
Yeah, he looks solid. Um, they can't take sawed off shotguns for the rookies. They have to actually get a class and be not a sniper or a scout before they're allowed. See who else we've got that's a promising looking rookie here. Jan Meyer, only a three health. That's kind of a drawback. We have two guys here actually that have very good aim and very poor health. Gordon, however, is not terrible looking. 67 is pretty decent on the aim. Ugh, Patrick Medina, every time you're just off. Well, since we're going, you know, Magdalena Nowak's going to go. She's got a 70 aim, 4 health, low movement speed. That's pretty well all around balanced. That'd be a, she'd be a fine infantryman. Let's get her some tack armor. EP grenade and the laser sight's fine. You know what? With the shotgun on Smith, I'm going to change his loadout. I'll just a, a pit. He doesn't need, if he's got a shotgun, he hardly needs a laser sight. And I want to have one more soldier with a med kit. We've got rookies here. They could go down or need healed. And this is 70. You know what? They have low health. Their speed is still okay. We're going to go ahead and take Jan Meyer. 73 aim is it's just too good to pass up, really. Sweet stash on Meyer, too. Is it just me? Does he look a little bit like James K. Polk? Alright, well, let's get this mission on the road. In Alcapoco, you guys go fight the aliens while we head to the resort to make sure that everyone is safe. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Major city? I don't know if you can call Acapulco a major city. Anyway, let's launch this mission up. All right, guys, hurry up and get off the aircraft. Tray tables upright and locked position. And we're at a graveyard. Nice. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. It's Dia de los Muertos. All right, Mel, let's go take a look. Now I'm gonna have Gibson dash. He can't use half cover as full cover. He has low profile. I have him run up, take a look. He's not gonna get a shot anyway. One drone and two sectoids. It's gonna meld canister up there. I don't wanna try and get anybody up who's gonna be able to get a shot. Young Jones here, pretty reasonable chance to hit. That's a whiff, but it's his first mission. We'll cut him a little bit of slack. What's Doc Brown got? Miss for the Doxter. Now that's not. Chris Brown's first mission. We expect better things from you, Chris. Man, this drone is unhittable. Alright, who else wants to take a futile stab at it? You know what? Just dash up. You're not going to hit anyway. And we've got young Jaden. He has a shotgun. Let's see what kind of shot he's got at the open target. Somebody's got to hit it eventually. There we go. Welcome to Earth, pal. That one's for my pops. An alien taking a shot. Shooting at Mel, but missed. Oh, no, that shot was at Jaden. Must have been payback for that Welcome to Earth comment. So we got two aliens hiding behind a car, flanking our entire team. That is not good. Do we have anybody on Overwatch? None of the aliens are on Overwatch. I think now might be the time for a little rookie grenade action. We're going to move this rookie up. Oh, somebody was on Overwatch. Lucky miss. Lucky miss. All right, Jan Meyer, it's time to make that sweet mustache work for us. Get a grenade up and over. If we can get you two kills. Come on, Meyer. Nice work, son. 
This country was founded on sweet mutton chop sideburns. Handlebar mustaches and whatnot. Wow, Gibson, I expected you'd have a, a little better chance to hit, buddy. Eh, may as well shoot at the guy who formerly was on Overwatch. Ooh, cracked him in a dome. I'm Mel Gibson. He is, in fact, a lethal weapon. Do we can get a flank shot for Jones? We can. 90%. We're going to take that for certain. And a hit. And a kill. Alright, so our first wave of aliens is down. We're just going to advance then. Send old Jaden out to look around. Two meld canisters over there. Let's start moving towards the meld. We're going to kind of keep everyone else back. We've got several rookies on this mission. We don't want to do anything too insane. That's Mo Gibson's job, not Chris Brown. Chris Brown hits women. I'm on the move. We're green to go. Have everybody reload. Alright, Jaden, why don't you run on up there to that canister? Alright, three meld collected. I'm actually tempted to move him again, but he's getting a little far away from support. Let's put him in full cover over here. Oh, there we go. Three sec toys. Alright, we're going to have to move the rest of the team to bring him up a little bit and get him some support. The Overwatch shot. Get old Doc Brown up there. Marty, I gotta tell you, Marty, you gotta go beat your wife, Marty. I'm rolling. That would actually be something I would I would pay money to see Chris Brown cast in the remake of Back to the Future. Speaking of which, you know it's only a matter of time before somebody does remake Back to the Future, so I say why not Chris Brown? You may say because he's a loathsome human being and just in general an untalented piece of shit, but I say why not, sir? Alright, got these aliens that are gonna link here. Leaves two to act. They're gonna have to advance if they want to get any kind of real shot at our scout. Gonna go on Overwatch. This guy also will probably Overwatch. Yeah, they're covering the meld canisters. Let's get our sniper and see if he's got a squad sight shot. He does not. Move him up a little bit then. Now we can't see anything, so we're just going to put him on Overwatch. Now we could trigger all this Overwatch. You know what, Jaden is going to trigger the Overwatch. Just run out there and trigger them both. Lightning reflexes holding us in good instead. He's going to get this meld, take cover behind the meld canister, and shoot whichever alien he's got a better shot at hitting. 46% is not shameful. Let's take it. And he blasts one. If only he was a fighter pilot as well. Headed there now. Making dad proud. Got it covered. We're going to do some just a wee bit of dashing here. We need to get some more folks up in a support range. We want, we want to be able to cover Jaden so he can't get flanked by that alien. If this guy starts to advance, we don't want him to be able to get a side shot without having to take some Overwatch fire. Not that Overwatch from a couple of rookies is likely to hit, but it will make the aliens keep their heads down. We have some interesting opportunities with Jaden there. We could have him dash around. But having him trigger unnecessary overwatch is sort of a gambit um, because it only does give a 90% chance for the first shot to miss and then probably a 70% chance for any subsequent shots. So if you do take enough overwatch with a scout, even with lightning reflexes, they are eventually going to get hit. Nice shot from Doc Brown there. And with Doc Brown getting a kill, we're going to go ahead and trigger the overwatch and just try to take a flank shot on this alien. We'll trust our lightning reflexes. All right, it worked for us. And 
and we're just going to blow this kid away. 100% chance to hit. Outstanding. Alright, so very short mission, actually. Got eight kills, that's good. Uh, nobody lost. I don't think anybody even got hurt. So, successful mission for us. Get back to base and see if either of our rookies got a promotion. One of those rookies did get two kills, so he should be entitled to some sort of bump. Sweet handlebar mustache man with a, a fantastic grenade. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. I agree, Dr. Valen. For once, I, you know, I'm not going to just shout you down for being an idiot. You actually said something that was both relevant and complimentary. All right, let's work on these promotions. Private Sam Jones could be a gunner or a rocketeer. He is too good to be either of those things, so we're going to random subclass him. Infantry. And seriously, every time we do a random subclass, they fucking come out at Grenadier. Why shouldn't the hell that button should just say make Grenadier? Doc Brown with promotion. I think deserve it. He's been on, what, three missions? Gotten three kills. That's one kill per mission, and he hasn't punched a team member in the face yet either, so. Covering fire is actually a pretty good ability. It lets you take reaction shots um, when the enemy shoots, not just when they move. But the smoke grenade really is, in my opinion, sort of necessary. You kind of need the smoke grenade. The plus 20 defense for units in later missions where the enemies have more advanced weaponry and much better aim, it really makes a difference between surviving and dying. Mel Gibson also getting a promotion. Um, he's going to take a low profile. It's one of the best abilities in the game, actually. And his other options, Lone Wolf is not great. It's it's really a bad idea to be more than seven tiles away from anyone. Gunslinger, it's plus and one damage with any kind of sidearms, which given the new sidearms like the machine pistol and the uh, sawed-off shotgun, does make it better than it used to be, but still not as good as low profile. Making partial cover count as full cover, really, really useful ability. And then that just leaves Jan Meyer, sweet handlebar mustache man. And again, Gunner or Rocketeer. You know what? We're going to random again. And it, Grenadier? I'm almost certain of it. Look at that, Grenadier. Seriously, that, that's the Grenadier button. So, Grenadier, that's what random subclass gets you. You're always a Grenadier. There's nothing random about it. The drawback to that is we got no infantry soldiers. None. That is shitty. We need more infantry guys because they are fantastic. Did get 80 credits. Panic in Mexico reduced by two. We're going to take those 80 credits and we're going to hire some new soldiers. We need some new guys. We've got to get some rookies that we can turn into infantrymen. We desperately need them. But with the mission over, that's where we're going to end this episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like in the comments section down below. Come on back again. We'll see you next time.